might as well be Catwoman at this point, or I don't know. I feel like I can take on the freaking world though. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, my name is Misa. I am a makeup lover, I am a mother, and I live in Colorado. I upload makeup related videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I would really appreciate it if you subscribed and joined along. Today, we are doing this super out of the box, completely not my normal look. I have been really wanting to do for a while, and that is this dark, sultry, smoky eye. I love these kind of looks. I wish that they weren't so time consuming so I could wear them, you know, grocery shopping, um, trip to the, you know, once, once, once they open one day, the local gym or something. If you are interested to see exactly how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. Take me to the dark side. Okay, to start, I'm going in with this black eyeliner. It's the long, la Maybelline long lasting. I know I got it for free some time ago. And I'm just going to take that all over my lid. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to build up a nice dark base here. It has been so long. Maybe I'll just do one eye at a time. It has been so long since I have done a black, dark, smoky eye and I have been itching to do one. Yes, it might not be the season for it. Matter, right now it's like 6, 6 p.m. at night and I'm not going anywhere after this. I'm gonna go get straight into the shower. It's been a while since I pulled out my Tati Beauty Palette. I have just heard amazing things about this black that she has. This is in the shade Memory. So I'm gonna go in with that with a big, I'm gonna do a big fluffy brush or maybe a little smaller defined. What is this? This is a blending brush by Mario times Sephora. I wish that they kept that around because these brushes are amazing. The whole set was about $100 and it was well worth it. Let's see. So I'm going in with the matte version of Memory. Now these eyeshadows, they're some of the best. Out of all of my palettes, I'd say this one and my Desi times Katie and Dosa Colors are my favorite formulas. I do need to start creating some kind of a transition, so I'm gonna go in with Ritual, which is this brown, matte brown shade, taking a big fluffy brush and start putting that in my crease. I'm not a makeup artist, so there is no telling how this makeup look will turn out. It might look like Halloween makeup, I don't know, I have high hopes. Now I'm going in with glitter. Well, it's glitter in the same shade. These, oh, let me show you. These are so pigmented and rich and gorgeous. Look at that. Eyes are far from done. Well, not far, but I'm just gonna do some cleanup and then we're gonna go in with foundation and then I'll come back to the eyes in a little bit, in a little bit. All right, let's go in with a really dewy primer. This is the Becca Backlight Luminous Primer. It's very hydrating, great if you have dry skin. Foundation today, I'm going in with the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. This is such a great shade for me. I love how it applies. And it's a great option for summer because it has SPF 50 in it. And I just like to put that on my brush and, you know, on my finger as well. Man, oh man. I see it now. I see it now. We love not I break through to show to you that I'm more good than I am bad. I'll work it out. I feel like this foundation just blends out so fast and easily with a brush. You can you can use a sponge as well. I find the finish works both ways. I'm going to go in with some concealer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And I'm just gonna, I'm excited to put this concealer on to just kind of get some shape. I used to be re really creative with my eye looks. I used to put a lot more time into them when I just had my first son and when I first was starting out with makeup and now it is just a rare occasion if I do anything more than bronzer in my crease. Now, 
you have got to set this concealer down. I'm going in with a ColourPop No Filter, No Filter Setting Powder. Just going to use this little itty bitty Real Techniques contour brush. It's just the perfect shape though to get in there and set my concealer down. I got concealer or something in my hair. Are you guys pretty daring with your looks? Do you like to go out, you know, full face, dark smoky eye in the middle of the day? Or what is your kind of makeup style? Now I'm going in with the Hourglass Setting Powder, Ambient Lighting and Luminous Light. I have just been so impressed by this. I love sitting down my entire face with this because it adds the perfect amount of luminosity. I am filming at night, which I usually do not, because I am getting LASIK eye surgery in two weeks and you cannot wear eye makeup for a whole week after the surgery, which means I could film, but my filming looks would, I feel like would look pretty incomplete. I've been working on getting all of my filming done, and so that week I can just, if I can do anything, I can just edit. I am loving how this look is turning out so far though. I just need to go in on the lower lash line, add some of this matte black, some of this eyeliner, and get some more smokiness going in here. <laughs> this little Morphe E17. It's just like this little itty bitty synthetic hair buffing brush and that's where I'm going to blend this eyeliner out as well as set it with the matte shade in memory. I want to take this shade right here. This is Aura in metallic and put this on the inner, inner corner. Right now your eyes are thinking, wow. This looks really bad, or you're thinking, wow, it looks really good. <laughs> I'm in the middle, I don't know, guys. I do not know. I feel like I really need to get my brows on to kind of see this look tie together, so I'm going to go in with the mainly Total Temptation in the shade Medium Brown. My eyebrow tutorial is pretty much always the same. <laughs> I kind of like how this is kind of wild a little bit and unrefined. Love it. Oh wait, I'm using the wrong palette. Where's my Tati Beauty? Here she is. Okay, I want to kind of highlight my brow bone a little bit, so I'm going in with the shade Aura again, and I'm just going to kind of clean up a little bit under my brow. Bronzer time. Hourglass Ambient Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer. This is going to be perfect for this look because it does this natural, I don't want things competing with my eyes. The show today is the eye. <laughs> I've just been going in with this like a slanted angled brush my contour with my bronzer and just kind of make a little bit of a line just a very very light contour I'm not an expert at contouring the nose I haven't mastered it it turns out different every day but I want to add a wing to this look so I'm using the house laboratories eyeliner we'll see if it makes a difference Find the light. Okay, there it is. Eyeliner is on. I wouldn't say it made a huge difference, but what's nice is since it's already dark, we can kind of, you know, you can mess up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can't see it anyway. Looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with mascara so I can finish up the eyes and kind of write those off and move on with the rest of my face. So the L'Oreal Double Extend is what I will be using today. I love it because it has the primer on this side. I love applying primer. I don't think I could ever go back to not using a mascara without primer. I just love watching the white formula work its magic and really elongate and volumize. Blush has to be really smooth, kind of warm the face, but not take the spotlight. So the Patrick Ta blush would be perfect for this because it really does melt into your skin. From my experience, I'm going in with a big fluffy, this is literally called a blush brush from Real Techniques. and. I'm going in with the shade She's Sincere. 
and I'm applying that to the apples of my cheeks. Oh, I just love the color it brings. I like to hit some of this on my temples too. Oh, I'm gonna go in with some setting spray. Let's go in with um, the Pretty Fresh Color Pop. Melonic Acid Setting Mist. Acid Setting Mist. Oh, that sprayer is kind of doing some weird things. Let's go in with some Morphe as well. And this is the Luminous. Lips. I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Satin Kiss Liner in the shade Chauffeur. Now I see you, yeah you know I do to make it through the times we had. I see it I'm going in with this really pretty gloss by ColourPop and I Love Sara E in the shade Curvy. I just feel like our glossy, a nude glossy lip looks so good with this. Well, okay then, this is the finished look and I feel like a different woman. I mean, heck, I might as well be Catwoman at this point or I don't know. I feel like I can take on the freaking world though. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.